Yeah, yeah, this is how we do it in the Central Coast, man. We got 40 ounces, old English, rag tops, six foreign collars, and bikini girls, man. This is how we do it on the West Coast. San Diego, San Francisco, Los Angeles. But don't forget about the Central Cali, man. Please don't forget about the Central Cali. Yeah, get them. It's another sunny day in the state of California. The water palm trees and cheese that put it on ya. This ain't a negative, we speak in ebonics. Rag talk can be beat on these with hydraulics. Yeah, yeah. Baseball hat with the sticker on the brim. Don't let the shine blind your sight, cause things can get grim. But I'm not here to talk about banana clips and guns. We're going back to Cali and we're gonna have some fun. Welcome back to Tuesday Chilling Podcast. I am your host, Fletcher Mura. I'm here in Monterey County, also known to the world as the Salad Bowl, also known as the Salinas Valley. To the people in LA, we are north. To the people in San Francisco, we are south. Right smack in the middle, best of both worlds. Don't forget about the Central Kelly. Anyway, folks, today we are going to talk about Pimp C of the infamous rap group UGK. Bun B and Pimp C. Chad Butler, right? Anyhow, guys, um... We're going to get into that because uh, uh, Pimp C and Bun B were known as UGK, Underground Kings, right? Out of Port Arthur, Port Arthur, Texas. And they represented Houston, right? So they came out of there and at a very young age signed to uh, rap a lot. They, no, they were on Jive and then I think they signed to rap a lot after that, something like that, right? So what happened was, guys, that... um. They went on and and um, they were on the on the soundtrack to. Uh, they released a, a couple of songs and stuff, uh, a couple of al- I believe some albums and stuff. And then they, Pimp C was, was in a mall, I believe, and he drew a, a gun. Uh, which in the state of Texas, uh, whatever the state, I'm not clear on the situation of what happened there, guys. But he ended up going to prison for that, you know. Um, and that pretty much brought a halt to their, to their, uh, momentum, if you will. So what happened to the UGK momentum, Underground King's momentum, right? Him and Bun B. Uh, Bun B continued to move on forward and, and do stuff. Uh, there is, uh, uh, everything I'm about to tell you guys is all pu- matter of public knowledge. It's out there if you search for it, right? Um, I'm not bringing you anything you know, that's strictly from me, and I'm just saying it. That's not it. Don't shoot the messenger. So anyhow, what happened was um, he was out there. Uh, he was in prison. Bun B uh, went on to do uh, his uh, his music and so on and so forth. Kept the, kept the music alive and whatnot and, and said free Pimp C and so on and so forth. Eventually, Pimp C was released from prison, right? Uh, only j- to jump in back and pretty much go head on to what he was doing. You know, uh, he came in strong, started uh, doing his music thing, started, you know, he just, I mean, the guy hustled his way through. One thing I will say that I admire about Pimp C was his motivation to to unite the, the down south rappers, you know, rap artists. To unite them, even if they were having beef with each other, he came forward to to say no. You know what? Squash that. Get get it together. You know. And he was bringing them with numbers, which uh, with that, guys, it, it inspired me to do a lot of things in, in my own uh, community or, or surroundings, if you will. You know, the unfortunate part is, hey, sometimes people don't. You know, it, it just doesn't work out, unfortunately. You know, but hey. You can't ever say, I didn't try, or what if, or had I did this, it maybe would have been different. I digress. Anyhow, um, so he went on to to, to, to do that. Um, <clears throat> the, the unfortunate was because he, I remember he, um, Pimp C was talking about uh, the LGTBQ community, GAY community, whatever you want to call it, guys. I'm sorry. I, I'm again. This is not a public knowledge. This is not me coming on and saying that. 
he was coming against them very hard, uh, disrespecting, saying, you know, he didn't agree with that. Uh, he pointed towards Atlanta being the capital of that kind of stuff within the music industry. And let's just face it, Pimp C was not happy about that. So he was calling out people for that, you know. Um, there is a video where he's talking about that, how he feels about that. And I will have that linked in the description button below. So you guys are free to check that out. Um, <clears throat> and I know I'm not pushing a narrative on that, guys. That's just what it is. So anyhow, um, uh, yeah, he was making a lot of noise about that, you know. Um, so I'm... December 4th of uh, 2007, I believe, um, he, um, he, Pimp C passed away in Los Angeles, right, after doing a show the night before with Rap, rap Artist Too Short. Um, <clears throat> I remember where I was at, I was coming out from seeing my mother in a, in a nursing home, unfortunately, uh, and that's a whole other story. It wasn't by my choice. I, I didn't have a choice at the time. Um, but we won't get into that. I, and what happened was uh, a good friend of mine called me and he said, Hey, man. He goes, uh, did you hear? And I said, no, what's going on? He goes, Pim C passed away. And I was like, what? He goes, for real? He said, yeah. And he knew I was all into that, you know. Um, <clears throat> so what happened was he... Um, he was said to have passed away from uh, uh, an overdose or a bad combination of of uh, of cough syrup, which they mixed with soda and Jolly Ranchers and so forth, and ice, uh, called it lean, you know, that's supposed to slow you down, which I've never understood the concept of that. Why, why do you want to feel drowsy? I, I don't know. I, I, it's not for me to understand, I guess. I won't, I won't be a... Uh, um, I just didn't want to do that. I, I just, I'm not interested. I don't want to know. You know, I just don't, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Nor, you know, whatever. It is what it is. However, um, so that's what it is, guys. Uh, and that's where we're at with it, you know. Um, so, Pim C, he, uh, he, uh, he passed away from that, right? And, you know, of course, the world felt it. You know, those those of us that are into the rap community and so on and so forth, right? So, um, uh, what happened after that was uh, everybody was like, oh, you know, he, he, had a, uh, he had a sleep apnea, and then he drank the lean, and that's what caused him to pass away. So we, at least I, I'll say I, Believed it, you know. Um, but now, years or years later after that, it came out that um, uh, his mother was trying to have his body exhumed because uh, she believed that he was poisoned, right? Uh, and she was trying to gather the money to have his body exhumed and retested, re, you know, through an autopsy, according to, and again, all this is a matter of public knowledge. Um, his mother was told by the autopsy, the guy who did the, the pathologist, uh, who did the autopsy, had said that there was nothing in the system that could have taken him out. So she wanted to be sure what was going on, uh, what happened to her son. That was her only son, you know. Um, it, it's it's later been allegedly that there was a tape um, of some um, of him, of Pimp C and Beyonce. And those of you that know, for that matter, uh, UGK, uh, Pimp C and Bun B were shot to stardom with uh, the song Big Pimpin' along with Jay-Z. Jay-Z pretty much brought them out to the world. They were really underground at the time, and I followed them for that time, and then they kind of took off from that point, you know? Um, so for there to be a um, um, 
a tape of uh, Jay-Z's wife and Pimp C. Could it have been uh, a conspiracy or whatnot, right? However, with that guy's being said, there was a... Um, there was another individual hanging around with them. Uh, they went by the nickname Buddy. Um, to where uh, Pimp T's cousins got on some of the podcasts and stated that uh, this guy named Buddy, or called Buddy, actually is the guy that is responsible for uh, spiking Pimp C's drink. When Pimp C got up to go to the restroom, he spiked his drink. Uh, with uh, poison or whatnot, and caused him to pass. Uh, it said that he, I forget where they said he was from, but he, uh, he, he started, uh, you know, he was going around bragging about it, you know. Um, the unfortunate is that that guy, Buddy, also passed in a similar fashion. He passed uh, actually out, out in Fresno, California, right? Um, in a similar fashion, much like Pimp C. Um, the other unfortunate situation was that Mama West, Pimp C's mother, uh, never got the, the amount of money that she needed to exhume her son's body to be retested, and she ended up passing. But before, um, so before this buddy guy had passed, though, uh, it is said that he actually got together with Pimp C's wife and married her. You know, um, which was kind of odd to people, you know. And again, guys, this is all legend. This is all all over the all over the net. If you look for it, it's there. It's not just me saying it. So therefore, um, that's what happened, right? Um, so I mean, was it a conspiracy? Was it a a hit? What could it? You know, what was it? You know, um, will we ever find out? If you ask me personally, I, I think we I think you know not for us as fans, guys, but because he you know Pimp C had had uh, had kids, has you know had kids, on the certain, and I think as a family you know as 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 his kids, they deserve to know. They deserve to know what happened to their father, you know if there was any kind of foul play in that matter. You know, I know that if something like that happened to me, I I want to know. You know, and I and I say that not not from a from a from a, a fan standpoint. I say that from a standpoint of being a father myself. You know, um, so therefore, I think that uh, you know there should be an invest that should be reinvestigated and and see what's going on with that. You know, um, the unfortunate is guys that take it takes money and nobody's coming up with. Trying, trying to do that anymore, you know. Uh, the houses that the house that Pimp C had with his uh, high end cars were all left abandoned. Uh, nothing was being taken care of. Uh, all that stuff, like I said, the the guy Buddy, who allegedly is the guy that poisoned Pimp C, ended up passing away in the same fashion. Uh, according to um, Two interviews that we've seen on YouTube and throughout social media. Uh, there's been other rap artists that say that Pimp C uh, bled all over the place. You know, he was bleeding from his eyes, from his nose, from his mouth, from his ears, and any other place else they could bleed out of, he bled after after that. You know, after, you know, I'll tell you guys one thing, because that's not sleep apnea. That's not sleep apnea. That's something else, and I think it deserves an answer. You know, that's just me saying though. I think it deserves an answer, or his his, his kids deserve that that much. You know, um, the unfortunate part, guys, is that he's not. That, that's not going to bring him back. But at least it would be to say, hey, you know what? Uh, you have an answer as to what happened to your father. You know, um, it's just a sad story all the way around, guys. I think it's uh. I really think it's sad. I really think it uh, it deserves uh, to be reopened and, and investigated. Um, but again, the unfortunate is that the people that, that did do that 
are, are gone. And who knows if that's the case, who knows if that's who ordered the hit on that matter, you know, on that man. You know, and um, there's just so many things that happen. Uh, there was a, an interview that I saw where they said that they walked up to the casket and, and, and it was just a terrible view of his head was huge. You know, his lips, his lip looked like, lips look like looked like plastic. It was just a, a terrible view. Like, he just looked bad. You know, and Pimsy was a guy who took pride in himself to take care of himself. You know, um... And, and his looks and whatnot, you know, his haircut, the shaved head, whatever it was, you know, he, uh, down to his toes, man, that's, that, you know, if you know anything about that with, about Pimp C, you know what I'm talking about. So for him to look in that fashion from a, uh, overdose is beyond me, you know. So, um, yeah, I think it deserves, for the sake of the family that are still around and, and, and obviously, Love them. They deserve that much. But that's just me saying, guys. I will post a, a, a video in the description box below where Pimpsey's going against the uh, LGBTQ community in a sense. I wouldn't say he's going against them, guys. I think he's just stating an opinion of saying, you know what? If, if, if you are what you are, then come out and say it. But don't try to hide. Just be who you are. That's really what he's saying. So I will have that in the description box below. Uh, with that, guys, this is Two Face Entertainment Podcast. I'm your host, Fred Segura, signing out.